So one of the best things that will ever happen to you as a guitarist is when you get to that moment and you can finally play a riff or song from one of your heroes. It is the best feeling in the world because it's a huge accomplishment. Now for me, my guitar hero was Eddie Van Halen and I mean this, you're, you're seeing clips and videos of stuff like this, it, you're like, oh, I'm not going to ever be able to do this. So for me, and probably many other guitarists, you hear the name Eddie Van Halen and you're just like, I'm never going to be able to play any of his stuff. And that is where he tricked us, and that's where you're wrong, because some of his stuff is pretty simple. And real quick, if you guys dig the video and want to see more of these lessons, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button. It's a real simple, free way to support the channel. You can also check out my Everything membership if you want to check out my courses. New course coming out here real soon. And uh, yo, let's get our Eddie Van Halen on. So let's get into this. Eddie took something so simple, these three simple chord shapes, and used them all the way from Van Halen 1 into the Hagar era stuff and just never stopped using them, but always made them sound different. So check this out. So the first shape you're gonna see is we're just gonna use an A chord, where you're simply barring your index finger across the strings. A good old A major, nothing too special about it. And another thing that's fascinating here is these chords are all major. So the next chord shape that you would see Eddie do a lot is this one. An inverted D. Where you've got fourth fret on the D, second fret on the G, and then third fret on the B. Now, like I said, this is the same thing as playing your D chord right here. But instead of having that F sharp on the high string, he has it in the bass. And the third and final shape is this one. So in this case, we're doing a G major chord, but some of you might refer to this as your F chord shape. I'm just gonna go fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, and third fret on the B. So you've got. And when I say he used these all the time, I mean constantly, not, not only all the time, sometimes he used the exact same chord shape. So he would move the shape into different keys and do different chords, but the shape was always the same. So feel your love tonight, drop dead legs, 316. Exact same chords in one of the riff sections of the song. So you have this part. Now when it goes to the verse, it goes A chord, that D chord, inverted D, back to A, Oh, we just move that shape up to the E position, back down to D. So all I did was I took that D chord shape and I moved it up. Okay, two frets, which turns it into an E, back to D, back to A. Now this is one of the things I love about this is because they're all major chords. Now Eddie used minor chords, he did some really cool chords, but you'll see a lot of times he focuses a lot on these, these major chords. So let's go to Drop Dead Legs. You know, another one where Eddie starts with an A. Oh, D chord? And he just slides up to the E chord. Oh, it's the exact same chords. Again, like you hear it, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like the same riff. He's using it in a whole different way. He's arpeggiating the chords. That. And I'm not saying I know how to play any of these riffs perfectly, but the overall idea is there. And who's texting me? Let's go to 316. Okay, so 316, he goes. Oh. A chord to D chord. Sliding up to the E. Back to D. Oh my god. It's the exact same chord. <laughs> now I'm going to hit you with a few examples where Eddie continues to use those three shapes that we talked about and makes them sound different. So, best of both worlds. <laughs> What does he do? He goes, oh, hold on. So we're gonna pluck it with our fingers now. A chord. He goes to that G chord that we talked about. We hadn't done this one yet, but here it is. So fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret. Okay. Oh, there's that D chord shape that we just keep using.
it never stops. He's using them all the time, but does that sound anything like the other riffs? No, it doesn't, because he's so creative with it. Okay, but uh, how else could he use this and make it sound differently again? Oh, um, let's see. Oh, there it is again. He's not using a D chord this time, he's doing the E. E. He's using that bar chord shape now, so I'm holding down fourth fret on the D, G, and B, which makes this a B major. So he went E major, B major, A major, B, E. There you go. So here's something I think is fascinating. You hear the next part of the riff it goes like this. Now let's just see what exactly is he doing there with that opening riff. Hmm. Well, if we continued this chord. Oh snap! It's the same thing. A whole new way of doing it again. He's just doing the A major, but he's just doing smaller chunks of the chords. Okay. Right, Where that little riff is there. Again, look at how creative he was with those same three chord shapes, using them in all these different ways. Can we all agree, Eddie is and was the man. And there we have it. So hopefully that gives you some insight into Eddie's chords that he used all over the place. And guess what? These are simple riffs that you can play pretty early on in your path as a musician. So to me, it was inspiring to be able to play this stuff. It's still, I still have such a good time playing. Run around. <laughs> I mean, learn all the stuff that Eddie did. It's so fascinating. I mean, there's just so much cool stuff tucked away in Eddie's playing, and um, I'm just gonna always do my best to wave the Eddie flag. I hope you guys are enjoying more of these lesson videos, because I really wanna get back into it. I was so burnt out on teaching there for a while, and uh, I have been itching to get back to it. So hopefully, if the videos do well, and you guys dig them, um, we'll get back on that teaching train. And uh, if you want to, check out the Everything membership. We got a lot of cool stuff going over there. And, um, yo, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. And the bluesy, Eddie Van Halen style, as always. So I was trying to use the whammy bar, but I forgot I can't pull up on this at all. It just, it only dives. And, uh, yeah, that was, that's why the whammy bar was doing nothing. So anyways, let's end it bluesy for real.